With more people traveling these days, there is a growing demand, of course, for flights out there. But lots of planes were grounded because of the pandemic and getting ready for takeoff is actually not as simple as just firing up the engines again. News Nation correspondent Marky Martin, she is live in Victorville, California tonight, where it actually is a complicated process to get those planes out of storage and back in the sky. Hey, Marky. Yeah, hey Rob, that it is. We're actually live at Ontario International Airport this evening. With shots in arms and a holiday weekend on the horizon, travel is coming back. I know folks here are gearing up for a long weekend ahead, but getting airplanes and personnel back up and running is not that easy. And here in Southern California, it's become home to hundreds of wings in waiting. Just north of San Bernardino, on the outskirts of the Mojave Desert lies Victorville, and it's a beacon for aircraft enthusiasts. It's funny, like seeing a celebrity for the first time when you're a true aviation fan. They're starstruck over ComAv Technical Services, the American leader in airplane storage and redeployment. We serve every type of fleet. General Manager William Tolleson took us for a drive. We are the first news crew they've ever allowed in to document the 500 acres of sideline planes. I mean, this really is like all of the world's most popular carriers landed on Mars. <laughs> we get retirements constantly anyway, but half are due down to the pandemic. When COVID hit, air travel crashed. About 5,000 commercial planes went offline. Hundreds of them have been stored here. We were up over 500 aircraft. This was actually very similar to 9-11 for us when you get the call, hey, you know, we have a lot of aircraft. We need to make sure they go somewhere. Lisa Christine is a director for ComAv, whose runways are now full of the world's most traveled carriers and notorious planes, including the tainted 737 MAX that was housed here during its grounding. You don't like calling this a boneyard. No. This is not a boneyard no. of aircraft. No, you know, it's a common misconception. With post-pandemic travel making its comeback, many of these perfectly good planes are headed back up, but their return to the skies isn't immediate. It could take one week up to 30 days. Rigorous maintenance checks have to be completed, not to mention the training for airline personnel. You would go through the airports, there was nobody there. Buck Roger is a captain for one of the world's top carriers. He wasn't furloughed in 2020, but the pilot predicts he'll have to switch planes since international travel remains dormant. I'll have to go to school and get retrained, and there's a pipeline and there's a backup there. And it's not just at my airline, it's at all the airlines. After the bumpy ride that was 2020, Aviation is coming back to life. Crews are preparing for takeoff. We want to see these aircraft flying 100%. Yeah, talk about fascinating to see that facility in person. And on another note, you know, all those lengthy delays or even unexpected layovers that some air travel passengers are experiencing right now, yeah, it has everything to do with COVID. There just aren't those reserves of aircraft uh, in waiting that there once were pre-pandemic. And lastly, ComAv actually doubled in size this past year, opening its doors to a lot of folks who lost their jobs in the past 14 months.